tetrapods. Three hundred and sixty-five million years ago, fish living in shallow waters traded fins for legs, had simple lungs as well as gills, and became the first tetrapods. And by this time, plants and centipedes, and spiders and insects, had been on land for thirty million years. The earth was green and the skies were blue with an oxygen-rich atmosphere. 340 million years ago, the first true amphibians began to harvest the resource by coming onto land to feed. But they had to keep their skins moist and had to return to the water to breed. This is the earliest known reptile. It was about eight inches long and looked a lot like modern lizards. Because reptiles have tough, waterproof skins, their territory wasn't restricted to damp domains of the amphibians. And by pioneering waterproof eggs, they could even breed without returning to the water. Amniotic eggs have been around for over 300 million years. The earliest mammal-like reptiles, called pelicosaurs, ruled the earth for about 40 million years and gave rise to the therapsids, one step closer to mammals. Therapsids are the direct ancestor of mammals. But before we say goodbye to reptiles, let's pause and look down their temporal highway. Their descendants include crocodilians, the dinosaurs, and the birds. Back to our own road, mammals are directly ahead. It is now 220 million years ago, and the cynodonts have arrived on the scene. They have nearly all the features of mammals. Most early mammals were small and true-like animals that fed on insects. It is likely they had a constant body temperature, milk glands for their young, and the beginnings of a neocortex region of the brain. But this is also the era of the first dinosaur, so our ancestors will have to wait their turn to rule. 125 million years ago, two new developments paralleled each other. Marsupials and Eutheria. Marsupials would give rise to kangaroos and their cousins. But our line lies with Eutheria, which have a placenta. The earliest Eutheria resemble a small mouse. 90 million years ago, we part lines with elephants and manatees. 85 million years ago, so long to horses, dogs, and cats. 75 million years ago, we part ways with mice and rodents. Primates are directly ahead. It is 65 million years ago, and the dinosaurs just died and a small animal that looked like a cross between a squirrel and a monkey becomes the ancestor of all primates. After a few million years, old world monkeys are clearly recognizable and they have had a good run ever since. 25 million years ago, the first of the lesser apes appeared. Once again, we have to slow down so the lines passing underneath us now represent 100,000 years apiece. 15 million years ago, orangutans appeared and the gibbons split off. 13 million years ago, our ancestors split from the orangutans. 10 million years ago, we split from the gorillas. 7 million years ago, we split from the chimps and bonobos. 
the earliest known human ancestor, postdating the separation of the human and the chimpanzee lines, is in our sights. Humans are dead ahead. Our ancestral path at this point is a bit indefinite, primarily because there are many species of hominids who could be in our ancestral line, or maybe not. But although we lack specifics, there is enough evidence to give a good outline of our history. This is Tumai. It is the oldest known hominid, and dates between six and seven million years ago. Aurorin dates about six million years ago and was probably bipedal. Artipithecus lived from 5.8 to 4.4 million years ago. This is Kenya Anthropus from 3.5 million years ago. This is Lucy and Australopithecus afarensis from 3.2 million years ago. Meet Australopithecus africanus. He is from 2.5 million years ago. Homo habilis from 1.9 million years ago was found with tools. Homo ergaster dates to 1.6 million years ago. Homo erectus lived from 1.8 million years ago until 300,000 years ago. This specimen is from 500,000 years ago. Homo sapiens includes ourselves as well as several, perhaps many other subspecies. This is our close cousin, Neanderthal, who lived from 230,000 years ago to just 30,000 years ago. They buried their dead as long ago as 100,000 years. This woman is the mother of all mankind, the common ancestor from whom we all descend. She lived 150,000 years ago in East Africa, and everyone on Earth is related to her.